WNEM TV 5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. Our top stories tonight. Michigan State Police say a 23 year old Mount Morris man is now in custody following a road rage incident that turned into a shooting. It happened Thursday evening on I-75 near Grange Hall Road. A woman told investigators the man was driving aggressively and that he tried to drive her off the road. She says the man also pointed a gun at her. That was when she slowed down and called 911. MSP says the man then shot at her before leaving the scene and the woman was not hurt. The case is now being reviewed by the Oakland County prosecutor. The presidential primary is only three days away and clerks are recommending you do not mail in absentee ballots. Instead, they are asking voters to use drop boxes. The Bay City Clerk's Office says so far 2,903 ballots have been returned. When filing, filling out an absentee ballot, the Secretary of State Office says to read all the instructions carefully. Completed ballots should be inserted into the secrecy sleeve. Voters must also sign and date the return envelope. Absentee ballots must be returned to the clerk's office by 8 in the evening on Election Day. It's the third day for the annual Gary Hart Bowl for Kids Sake fundraiser. Money will go towards Big Brothers Big Sisters of Flint and Genesee County. The event at Galaxy Lanes in Grand Plank has an 80s theme, which has a special meaning for the nonprofit. Organizers say it's to celebrate their 80 years of service to the community. TV5 was at the event today. The benefit runs through Sunday. Now here's Kyle with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Raven. After a pretty quiet day for us overall, we did have some sunshine and uh, it was cooler for us. But thanks to that sunshine, it wasn't as cold as it could have been. We started out with temperatures in the teens. We also had some pretty cold wind chills down into the single digits. What we're seeing out there right now is temperatures cooling off for us, but uh, a pretty nice sunset here from our US 10 cameras. We've got clear skies, but notice out there on the horizon, there are some clouds out there. What we're going to be seeing as we go through the overnight hours will be an increase in cloud cover. And so going throughout our uh, Sunday will be kind of back and forth between some clouds and sun. You can see that taking place here. Uh, we had clear skies in mid Michigan now, but we do have some cloud cover that's slowly making its way towards mid Michigan. So we'll, we'll cloud up as we go through the overnight hours, as you can see here on the hour by hour temperatures really aren't allowed to cool off all that much for us overnight because we have the clouds moving in. Remember clouds at night acting like a blanket blanket here to keep us warm. So we do cool down into the twenties, but we won't be nearly as cold as we were throughout uh, the you know overnight period last night and going into the morning. As we go throughout the uh, day tomorrow, we will be mostly cloudy, but we will have some peaks of sunshine, especially as we go into the afternoon. Take a look at this. This is four or five o'clock here. We're looking at temperatures middle to upper 40s, a little bit of sun, far warmer than it was at any point today. We only made it into the upper 20s and lower 30s for today. We'll cool down going into your Sunday night, of course, but we maintain mostly dry conditions uh, throughout your Sunday going into Monday as well. Look at how far we go into Monday. If you're a fan of the spring like weather, this is a pretty good forecast here because we're right back into the lower 50s. We've got dry conditions. We've got a nice wind here for us uh, from the uh, south and the east, and we have you know more of that sunshine. So this does continue as we go into this week. The warmth does for the first half of the week. We've got a strong storm system that's going to be warming us up Monday, but then also going into Tuesday, we could be pushing 60 degrees with this storm system. And particularly what we're going to be keeping an eye on here as we go to Tuesday evening and Tuesday night is going to be the chance for some showers, perhaps even some thunderstorms mixed in there as well. And then we'll cool down quite a bit on Wednesday as the storm system starts to depart the area and we could even mix in a little bit of rain and possibly some snow as a cold front comes through. So here's what that forecast looks like for us. Again, those temperatures warming up into the 60s, eventually cooling back down into the 30s by Thursday. But then as we transition into the end of the week, going into the weekend, temperatures right back into the 50s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.